Come on, Rick. Happy Sunday, Sunday night in Bangkok. I've got, I'm pumped, a pretty big surprise I'm going to talk about in a minute. But first of all, what are we unboxing today, Dave? Today, we are unboxing the Wanwu Compact Balasong. What is it? It's basically a play off one of these. Balasong is a Filipino um, butterfly knife. But this is not a knife. It's a tool, but it's kind of a play off the Balasong. So, without further ado, I'm going to start ripping this box open. And while I do it, my buddy who's a MC, DJ, producer, Vectrax in Canada, uh, made a Dave Does Reviews theme song. So while I'm busting this open, I'm going to have that playing in the background on this video. Let's get it on. So, what's in the box? We've got some extra little bits, bobs, and springs. We've got some stickers. We've got this tool. We've got, this looks like it might be some glue or pivot lube. And we've got what I like, which is a very cool case. As you know, I kind of like slightly minimal size, so I wish this was a pinch smaller. But this is a cool case and definitely goes well with the theme. Now let's flick this baby open. So before I do actually, there should be three tools here. We've got a pry bar, a bottle opener, and I guess what you would call kind of like a bit driver. One, two. Okay, let's see. Come on. Okay. And I think there's ways to kind of, there we go, flick it open. This is made out of titanium. It was about 500 RMB, 2500 Thai baht, which is about 75 US, 100 Canadian dollars. I'm digging the feel of this. I've got a cut on my finger, so doing the flicks is kind of hard, but this looks cool. So, come in for the zoom. Come on, Rick. Sundays are good days. So we're at 75 grams, about two and a half ounces. I think that's a nice weight. It was, if you noticed me freaking out before my first kind of flick, it's because this was a little bit smaller than what I'd expected, but it makes sense. It's supposed to be kind of a cute, small, a pocket compact Balasong style toy. To give you a size comparison, there you go. So what do we have? We've got the titanium we've got your bottle opener we've got the bit driver so let's give that a test before we take it to the kitchen so the bits i'm going to use would be the same ones you would normally put sort of in this we have bit driver so let's start off let's start off with an easy one this Pivot is pretty easy to manipulate, to be honest. So let's give this guy kind of a... So the trick is, it's not super magnetized. So you gotta kind of hold it from the back, unless I there's better tricks for using this, in which case post in the comments, but she works. So now you say, what's test number two? And I say, all right. Let's try the old scissors before I give them to charity. As you know, I've been unboxing scissors like mad. Let's see if we can or cannot kind of leverage this to get 
we can. So it's obviously not the most convenient bit driver, but it works. And that, I've never played with the screw on that scissors. In that scissors, it was on there pretty tight. So that's good. Some other features, it's got, what I like here, it's got this magnetic closure. So it sort of snaps shut and stays shut, which is great. And we've got some good flicking action. Here's your pry and here's your bottle opener. Stop wishing, let's take it to the kitchen. When I was first handling this, you might have noticed I was a little bit apprehensive. It's because I have this cut on my index finger. So I was kind of hesitant to start with the flick. But as you can see, it's pretty intuitive. And there's also kind of a spidey drop or reverse flick you can do to open and close. Let's get some, let's get some pop in. Let's pop some bottles. So first, let's try the pry. All right. No major surprises there, but she works nice. Now, I'm actually kind of a, was a little bit skeptical, player hating on the pry potential, or the bottle opener potential, I should say, but that was nice. Let's try again. All right, I got a semi-fail. These bottles, though, are not super easy. All right, second time's a charm. One, two, does it get some magic? Yeah, not bad. Okay, is it the best bottle opener on earth? Maybe not. The best bit driver on earth? Maybe not. But it serves both functions and it got it done. And you've got this cute pry bar and it's teeny and it's a really fun toy. I, I actually, I was really pumped to get this and especially the titanium as opposed to the G10 version because I like the idea of the weight. Overall, I'm gonna call this a win for a multi-tool. Again, not made for the most rugged of hard use when you're talking about bottle opener bit driver, but it actually gets the job done on both. And it's got a pretty substantial titanium sort of pry action going on. So with that said, come on, Rick. Happy Sunday. Get it on.